All right, guys. So here we are. Today we are going to talk about clutches, man. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, I used to be. It was like magic to me, truthfully. Um, how this stuff works. Um, as I started getting more and more into racing, um, and going out of bashing, I started learning more about clutches. So I figured I'd um, you know, show y'all what I've learned so far. This is really a, a section of your car that can help you out um, or kill you. I mean, it could really hurt you or it could make you better, all right? Here we go, let's start with this first, all right? So this is probably the clutch that most people are familiar with right here, all right? This comes on, I think, every Zenoa that is out there. This is a genuine Zenoa clutch here. Here is the packaging for that, all right? Straight from DDM. Right, Zenoa 54 millimeter clutch shoe. Across the board, we're talking about all 54 millimeter clutches here. Um, you know, you can have 62 millimeter clutches. Uh, those are the two sizes that are for are for um, uh, small block engines for the most part. Um, of course, you can make things work. I mean, they make 70 millimeters. You have uh, 80 millimeters. Both of those ALX. Um, Taylor also has a 110 millimeter, which is known to be found on the 80 Supremes. So the stock Zenoa hole here, this is an eight millimeter um, hole for eight millimeter bolt. All right. Now the CY clutch shoes here is a nine millimeter hole. Okay. How this works. Okay. You bolt it up to a clutch plate here, which is going, it attaches to the crank of the engine. All right, this is one type of clutch plate. Here's another here. And then uh, RB Innovations actually makes a cooling clutch plate. And I believe Taylor RC does too. They make a cooling clutch plate um, to aid in keeping the dust out um, and cooling down that clutch because heat is the killer of all clutches and it will wear a clutch out really, really fast. All right, so you, you put this, you mount this right here, on here, like such, all right? This spins along with your crank. As your RPMs go up, the spring stretches right here, and it causes the shoes to open up like that. They open up like that, and they cut, touch your clutch bell, and which causes your car to move. The stock size on a standard Zenoa, let's, let's wait to see what this thing is. So, 94. All right, let's look at this uh, CY. 91 grams. All right, so that means if they use the same spring, this, because it weighs heavier, will spring out faster and engage earlier at a lower RPM than the CY, all right? So the heavier the weight of the actual clutch, the quicker your engagement on the um, clutch bell. The spring, now I'm talking about the spring here, and you can get these springs anywhere from, I think they go from, from I've seen them 3,500 RPM all the way up to 10,000 RPM, right? So you can tell but how thick the spring diameter is of what size clutch you got to get. Now, on the stock Zenoa, I believe probably eight, no, nah, I think 9,500 you can get from DDM spring. Um, after that, you will have to drill this hole out right here to get anything with a thicker diameter. You know, 10,000 UFC clutch, they will fit, but you just got to drill out, drill that out right there. All right. Now, so that means. A 8,000 spring will have a thinner diameter than a 10,000 spring, which means 8,000 spring is holding on to these two shoes a lot less. So it allows the clutch to spring out and engage at a lower RPM. So you could play around with this. You could actually drill these out or um, put a different spring on here. Um, you know, if you want to take some of your pad material off or something like that, you can change all of your clutch engagements, man. Um, and like I said, that comes into play with a lot of drag racing, a lot of, um, course racing that I do bashing. You can just pretty much change the spring up, um, and, and run with it. 
Now, talking about these springs, do not, and I repeat, do not go off what they say on the bag. Um, is a good chance that you <laughs> this thing is not going to be what you think it is. So the bag may say this is 8,000 spring. This thing might engage at like 6,000 RPM. Um, the bag may say it's a 10,000 spring. That, that spring may not engage until 9,000 or 9,500. Um, you got to get attacked, really. That's the only way you're going to be able to tell is get attacked and figure out, you know, once you install it, figure out what it is and go from there. You install the spring, you think it's a 9,500 spring and you only getting 5,000 RPM out of it before you start engaging, you got a problem. You got to pull this off and put a new spring on there. All right. It's trial and error, really. Um, uh, you got DDM springs. You got um, UFC springs, you have Blackbone springs, um, you got Amazon springs. So don't think it's limited. I mean, just because it's a spring, you, you can get it from all over. Um, like I said, and they don't cost that much. Anywhere from Amazon, you could probably get one for three bucks or so, three, four dollars. All the way up to Tail RC, you could probably pay maybe $20 for one spring. All right. Now, that being said, let's look at some of the different um, clutches we have here, right? All right. This is an FS clutch. Now, a lot of people see this and say, hey, where did the uh, shoes go? They're here. They're your metal shoes, guys. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Eighty-six grams. All right, so this is a light clutch. You have to make sure this takes a little bit of maintenance here, right? You got to make sure that these don't glaze over. All right, if these glaze over, you're going to be slipping on the bell. All right, so which will make your engagement go up in the RPM band. All right, if you're slipping, you ain't gripping. And I believe this is this spring here is a I want to say it's a ten thousand spring bashing. This is pretty much the go to right here. All right, here's another uh, clutch here. All right, this is has the I think this is a DDM this orange spring. Uh, I think this is a ninety five hundred DDM orange spring here, and um, this is I believe this is a CY from primal rc you can get these from primal rc all right this is i believe they call this their drag cut clutch um they take a little bit of material off to allow like i said for it to spool up a little bit longer rpms higher rpms to take off all right so like i said combination a lighter material and a heavier spring allows your rpms to go up and then it takes off before it takes off. This one, 9,500. Like I said, you can see it's cut here. You can buy these at Primal RC. Let's uh, see how much this thing weighs with the, the drag cut on it. 88, 88 grams. All right, guys. So here is a Pro Bike clutch. I don't have one out to show you, but this you can get the gist of it here. All right. Inside this clutch, there's springs behind each one of these four screws. All right, it has a floating disc that will engage once the spring. And there's uh, four weights behind here. I wish I had taken this thing apart. Uh, I would. I tell you what, I'll do another video on the Pro Bike clutch one day. Um, this is you get this from MCD, uh, Cardinal Racing. Um, there's springs in here behind these four bolts here. You have weights on every, all four, I guess you'd call them corners or whatever. And then you have this rotating disc here. As your RPMs go up, based off of your spring and your weight, uh, choice, it engage, it locks this and which in turn locks on your, um, clutch bell, which is shaped pretty much like these, this floating disc locks up on that. And that's when your clutch engages. You can fine tune this clutch tremendously. There's so many different, I think there's four different spring sizes, four different weight sizes. Um, you can you can get your RPM to exactly where you need to be at. This one right here is a stock 
probite, which is probably somewhere around 10,000 RPM, actually. So, there you guys have it, man. I mean, like I said, picking your clutch, depending upon what you, what kind of racing you want to do, what kind of bash, and if you're just out there playing around, the stock Zenova will probably do you well. Um, it takes a while for this, uh, you know, this, this friction material to come off and wear out. If you, you know, if you got your um, spring set up in tune with your uh, engine, you know, you don't want to use too high of a uh, spring for a smaller um, engine. Like if, let's say you run a 30, 30 cc engine, you don't want to put a 10,000 spring on there. I mean, it's, I mean, I guess you could, but it's going to work. It's going to, it's going to make that engine, that 30 cc engine work. So you really want to fine tune for whatever you're, you know, whatever you're, you're out there doing. If you're bashing, you know, I would stick with either Zenoa or get a FS, FS uh, clutch set up. It's depending upon the size of your engine, of course. Um, you know, it's the spring. The spring is the main thing. So you can put an FS clutch on any size, you know, any size engine. But that spring, you don't want to kill your engine trying to make this thing stretch out. All right, so there it is, you know, clutches for RC two-stroke engines. Um, it, it was, a, it, it, it was, a, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, it was a serious mystery for me. Um, I didn't know much about this. Uh, it took me a lot of running with the guys um, for Baltimore RC, a lot of tuning. Um, a good way to see if your your uh, changes are working, guys, I keep telling you, man, get get yourself one of these. Get yourself an analyzer, GPS analyzer from SkyRC. All right, get yourself one of these, man. That that any change you make, you go back out there and you race, you run it, you bash, see if it's, it was good for the engine or not. Get a tack for your engine. I like numbers. That's it, guys. There's clutches for you. If you got any questions, man, um, throw some down in the uh, comments. And I'll answer them like I always do. I always answer you guys. Um, I try and make sure I answer every comment, whether it's a negative comment or the many positive comments I get. So holla at your boy, man. It's Lance over here at Crucial RC. I'm going to start doing more of these videos for you guys. Um, so you can, you know, so I can try and help out some of the new guys out there and some of the guys that have been around for a while that really don't understand this, this, this stuff. And I've been blessed to be around guys to teach me this. So I'm going to run off, um, and help you, help you guys as much as I can. Um, like I said, any questions, hit me in the comments. Um, and I'll talk to you later. All right. I'll let you know. Out.